Good morning, students, teachers, and staff at Bataan. Could I please have your attention for our morning announcements? Just a few important dates coming up. We will have fifth grade swimming next week on May 15th and 16th. We will also be having our Olympic days. May 23rd will be the primary Olympic day and May 25th will be our intermediate Olympic day. Please remember if you have some camp forms for basketball, soccer, or football camp, you need to return to those to the office as soon as possible. If you have spring picture order forms, those also can be returned to the office. If you are interested in attending tennis camp over the summer, we do have some of those forms in our intermediate office. Our Right to Read Week today will conclude with wearing sunglasses. We hope everyone has had a great week and special thanks to um, the teachers such as Mrs. Snyder and Ms. Martin who had put a lot of these special activities together for this week. So thank you to those teachers for helping and to Ms. Martin as well. At this time, if you would please stand, put your right hand over your heart and together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may stay standing for our Baton Pledge. At Baton Memorial Elementary School, we work together to do great things for others. We have relentless pursuit of growth to get better every day. We own it. We own our actions and choices. We want to be the best version of ourselves. At this time, today is Friday, May 12th, 2023. And for lunch today, we will have pizza, salad, fruit, and milk. Happy birthday to the following students, Carolyn Pickens, Grace Abra, Zane Bullion, and happy birthday this weekend to Everett Gable tomorrow and William Hamilton on the 14th. We hope you have a great day celebrating your birthday. Just a reminder, our primary students are getting caught being above the line. This week, they are concluding today with being gritty and embracing the challenge. Next week, they will be thinking about thinking first before they act. Please remember, as we are above the line and we know that events happen and we control our response. Our response, if we make an above the line response, will get us an above the line outcome. Please remember to press pause and stop. Get your mind right. Give yourself time to think and make an above the line choice. Step up and act, and then adjust and adapt and reflect upon the choices that you have made. Our theme for the month is to talk to people, not about people. Remember, we are above the line. On the playground, it's important that we line up quietly, take turns while playing, follow directions that are given by the recess aides, keep your hands and feet to yourself, and please make sure you're using our equipment appropriately and safely and helping to clean up everything when recess is over. Also, the cafeteria, please make sure you're using an inside voice level. You are remaining in your seat. Make sure you listen to the adults. Keep your food on your lunch tray or in your lunch box. Please use your manners and follow directions. And when it is time to leave, clean up your area, make sure everything gets thrown away and walk quietly outside for recess. Our fourth and fifth grade students doing safety patrol next week will be Asa Gatliff, Berkeley Meisner, Chloe Hatt, Olivia Keaton, Bryn Kozlock, Mason Marvixen, Kinley Miller, Myla Miller, and Adeline Wolf. I hope everyone has a great weekend and especially a great day today. Go Skins!